very excited about the film. Um, talk to me about bringing it from a book um, to life on screen as a director and not just being an actor like what you usually do. Yeah, the process, I mean, you know, I, I didn't write the script. I should have no, uh, helped oversee some of the adaptation. Uh, and it was like four or five years in the making of that, that process. Long and by the time, time I got into it, I uh, had to make some very keen choices about the type of film I wanted to make as a visionary. Mm -hmm. The book's very visceral, very violent. There's some things in the book that definitely didn't make the film because mm -hmm. I just felt like, Actually, I don't want to see that. But I do want to tell the story that is at the essence of the book. It's about, you know, a kid that has to, you know, make some decisions in his life. And, and how does that happen? Obviously, the music and the culture and, you know, growing I grew up in the 80s. By the time this book um, was sort of coming out, I was sort of a late teenager. Yeah, so... And I sort of, you know what I mean, could relate to, to Dee's journey. I could relate to at least the environment, the sound system stuff's all very much coming yes, from my memory banks, absolutely. you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, so it was a great experience though, sort of adapting it though into a, a film. Culturally speaking as well, I think the term Yardi is, you know, sometimes looked at negatively. And Definitely. I think this is a really prime example to kind of bring it to the forefront for people that aren't of Caribbean culture, for example, Jamaican culture. Mm. Um, you know, SBTV did that party that was called Pull Up. Yep. Do you think that this film will then also kind of portray a different vibe of what a Yardi even is? Part of the experience of the film is that people will say, well, what, what does actually Yardi mm -hmm. mean, you know? I think that Yardi, as you said, is a derogatory term for Jamaicans, especially in the 80s. Yeah. It was Scotland Yard versus the Yardi, yeah. which was like a war. In this film, man, he had, Lid D actually says, they call me a Yardi. You know what I mean? I'm not a Yardi, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Man, I'm from Jamaica. And for me, you know, it's important that the, 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 the title, which is the book, which was meant as a, not a play on words, but it's like, you, you're calling me a Yardi, or well, let me show you who a Yardi let me show, is. Exactly, exactly. In the film, I sort of want to expand on actually the human being. This is a human being we're talking yeah. about. Not a Yardi, not, yeah. you know what I mean? Not even just a Jamaican, this is a human being mm -hmm. that's, you know, dealing with trauma management. Mm -hmm. and, and how do you do that? Most boys, especially exactly. from the ages of 13 to 19, have to make some really incredible decisions about which way they will go. You can either go with the rude boys or you could go where, you know, you go with your books or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this book, this film tries to, you know what I mean, explore that a little bit. And talking just lastly about the soundtrack, which I think is epic, by the thank way. Thank you, thank I you. I love that it, it's very, it's um, it stays true to what the film's about, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? There's nothing, it's unapologetically reggae. Yeah. Why are you not on the soundtrack? I'm it? definitely going to make an album or an EP with songs that are inspired by the film. Wicked. I've done it before, I did it for Mandela, I did it for yeah, Luther, I'm going to do one for Yardi yeah. as well. So I was pushing and I, again. And yeah, no, no, <laughs> and I've already got a wicked song that features Cranium and Tanika Bailey wicked. on it. Wicked. Yeah, so we're, oh, we're getting there. That. And there might be one, two lyrics from the month. I'm, in, I'm involved. Just saying. And I love that. <laughs> oh, thanks for talking to me, Idris. <laughs> yeah, Take welcome. <laughs>